Hi, my name is Duncan Savage, and I was very pleased to be asked to be the honorary chairman of tonight's event. So first of all, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for attending the event tonight. I think it's a show of um, all the great organization on the part of Two Life and the community support that everyone is here uh, together tonight uh, to be able to uh, keep this event going. So at times like these, I think we really understand the importance of community. And I think that there's really no organization that kind of epitomizes community better than Two Life. This is an organization that's capital district born and bred and uh, really reaches out to its members to give them the support that they need. You know, so we as medical professionals can give patients information about certain choices and certain um, uh, options for their treatment, but certainly Two Life really goes the extra mile to be able to give all types of information for advocacy, uh, other options, and support, because very often just uh, having to be able to talk to someone who's been through this makes all the difference in the world. So that's very, very um, huge um, bonus for, for patients. So, you know, we as New Yorkers right now are taking a pause. Uh, wouldn't it be great if breast cancer took a pause? But unfortunately, that's not the case. And this pandemic has only intensified some of the feelings of isolation, uh, frustration, and accessing medical care for breast cancer patients. In addition, um, some of the needed screening tests, for example, screening mammograms, have been on, put on hold for a while. So that's always very, very disquieting. But this is really where Two Life comes to the rescue to be able to provide the support and the needed um, information for patients to help them through this journey and help them through the breast cancer experience. So um, tonight uh, we can talk about um, all these issues with pandemics, but really tonight's about celebration. It's about overcoming obstacles uh, during this pandemic and coming together uh, to recognize everything that this wonderful organization does. And uh, we have a great program ahead of us tonight. Um, I'd like to uh, congratulate Dr. Karen Tedesco, who uh, is the recipient of the Extra Mile Award. Uh, also to Shirley Anderson, uh, who is the event chair. Also to Catherine Black, who uh, is gonna be the recipient of your an Angel Award. The committee has done a great job with its ingenuity, uh, trying to figure out uh, how to prevent, uh, present this event and keep it going. And kudos to them for making this all work um, remotely and for all, all of us being able to come together. And I, I really give them a, a tremendous amount of credit for making this work. So right now, I'd like to welcome everyone. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, have a great evening tonight. Um, you know, when we give medical talks, we always have to have disclosures. And so I have a couple disclosures to make right now in the spirit of transparency. Uh, one is that this is a dress down event. And the other is that I'm actually wearing shorts to this event. So I just want to let you guys all know that. And I did want to prove that. Uh, so these are my shorts right here. And um, there we are. I've got my shorts, my legs. Um, so you guys enjoy the evening. Have a wonderful time tonight. And thank you so much for supporting this organization. Good evening and thank you for joining us for Toast 2020. I'm Mara Ginsberg and the president and founder of Two Life. And in these stressful times, we appreciate your flexibility and your financial support for Two Life. And that you're joining us in our virtual setting tonight. With all the appropriate focus on COVID, it's still very critical to realize that people are being diagnosed and being treated for breast cancer right here in the capital region right now. And we still need to support them. So maybe our services for Two Life are even more important right now. Um, we've gone virtual with most everything. And one of the reasons Two Life is able to meld ourselves or mold ourselves to the needs of our community is because we are a local grassroots community organization. We always have been and we always will be. We serve about 10 counties in the capital region and we're very pleased to be able to vary our programs and services and fit them with the needs of our community members. And because of our amazing staff and volunteers, all led by our executive director, Eileen Howbird, we've been on it from day one of the pandemic. And thank you to you and our community and your financial support. We will remain available providing our programs and services. Thank you so much for joining us. And now let's enjoy tonight. 
Good evening. My name is Eileen Berg. I'm the Executive Director of Two Life, and I'd like to welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. We have a wonderful crowd with us tonight, and we appreciate the support, and we appreciate the interest for people to, uh, to recognize and to celebrate the contributions of friends who have, uh, have gone an extra, an extra outreach to support individuals that are dealing with a breast cancer diagnosis. And that's why I mean why we are here this evening. And so uh, getting prepared for this evening has been uh, a pretty significant effort. Uh, we have a volunteer and staff uh, effort that has gone forward, and that's been led by Shirley Anderson. And Shirley has been part of this event for a number of years and has helped adapt uh, the message and the way we do things in the celebration part to a virtual platform. And so I'd like to thank Shirley and all the members of the committee who have just done an outstanding job of committing time and talent and really collaboratively working together so that we could bring you this experience and make it the best that we could. So I want to say thank you to the Two Life Board of Directors who has done just an amazing job of helping to guide the organization through this uh, very pivotal time. And so we have always um, uh, had an awful lot of face-to-face -face and one-on-one uh, -on -one conversations with individuals in, in small intimate group meetings. And so as we've moved to a virtual platform, we are doing more Zoom conference um, type of support groups. And hosting one-on-one -on -one meetings, and sometimes those are done through a FaceTime or some sort of a video conferencing. Uh, we are on the phone more often than we might have been in the past, and we continue to find innovative and creative ways to connect with people. And that really is the name of the game. We want to make sure that we are, uh, that we are still the support resource that people can rely on. Uh, so I want to give a shout out to the staff of Two Life. And the staff uh, are the ones that get it done each and every day, returning phone calls, making sure that, uh, that questions are answered, speaking with people, um, video conferencing, making calls on people's behalf and advocating, and just whatever it takes, day in and day out. And so uh, here's a picture of our staff at one of our uh, recent virtual meetings. And I just want to say thank you very much. You can see a, a, a listing of all of our staff members on the True Life website. Tonight's event is supported by our corporate sponsors. Our Toast to Health, New York Oncology Hematology and St. Peter's Health Partners. Our Toast to Family sponsors, Hinman Straub and Nigro Companies. Our Toast to Friends, Karen Glazier, Caldwell Banker. Our toast to gratitude, Bella Napoli Bakery, Capital Region Women's Care, Community Bank, Woods and Landy, Robert Wright Disposal, Stuyvesant Plaza, and the Strand Center. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting our work and for being part of tonight's event. I am joined now by Shirley Anderson, who is tonight's event chair for A Toast to Life. Shirley, thanks so much for being here. Tell me a little bit about why we've all gathered here tonight. We're here today to celebrate Two Life and the good work that Two Life does for women who are undergoing breast cancer. Uh, that um, support includes education, the su support groups, one-on-one uh, -on -one support. It includes a wig boutique and a bra boutique as well. What does this mean to you personally as the event chair and as someone who's been tied closely to this organization? I think people don't truly realize how very important the services of Two Life are to breast cancer uh, patients. I leaned very heavily on the support provided by Two Life while I was undergoing breast cancer uh, a couple of years ago. And being chair of the event gives me an opportunity to, to give back to an organization that means a great deal to me. And actually, I gained personally and professionally as well, I learned how to put on a virtual event. That's very cool. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you're looking forward to most tonight in our program. 
I'm looking forward to the testimonials from other breast cancer patients. I'm looking forward to the silent auction. We've got some great items, and I hope you really do um, bid on them and enjoy them when you win them. And I'm looking forward to introducing you to our honorees, um, Dr. Karen Tedesco and Katie Black. We have so much to look forward to tonight, Shirley. Thank you so much. So let's continue on with our program. As many of you know, a cancer diagnosis changes everything. Two Life has served more than 1,500 individuals over the last year with education programs, support groups, wellness programs, boutique services, and community breast health workshops. We've invited a few of them tonight to share their feedback. Hi, my name is Judy Gilbo. I was diagnosed with breast cancer in December of 2018. I attended my first Two Life support group meeting in June of 2019 after my friend Lisa suggested I attend with her. I arrived at the meeting a nervous wreck, but when I left, I realized I should have attended the support group meeting sooner. I felt such a connection with these women who I had never met before. I left the meeting that night feeling so good because I felt so comfortable sharing my experience with breast cancer with these women. I knew from that night on Two Life was gonna be a part of my life for a very long time. I really enjoy the monthly support group meetings and I find them to be very beneficial to my well-being. I always seem to learn something new at each meeting too. Another aspect of these, these meetings I like is that our facilitator, Melanie, will ask ladies in the support group if we will speak to women newly diagnosed with breast cancer who are not part of the support group and need someone to talk to. Talking to these women during this difficult time in their life has also helped me. I find it to be a very rewarding experience. Thank you to life for allowing me to discover the good things that can come out of a breast cancer diagnosis. Hi, I'm Debbie Holland. One of the first places I called after I was diagnosed with breast cancer in June of 2018 was to life. Two weeks later, I was attending my first support group for newly diagnosed women. I learned so much from that first group. Most importantly, that other women had gotten through this and I would too. And I was given the most helpful tips before starting chemotherapy. Since then, I have participated in monthly support groups, various wellness programs, attended the women's annual women's health conference, used the boutique services, and even joined the hiking group. To Life has supported me throughout my cancer journey and given me the opportunity to help others. Today, I provide one-on-one -on -one peer support to newly diagnosed women, which is very meaningful to me. I've also met the most amazing women through To Life, including their wonderful staff. I'm just so grateful for Two Life, and I look forward to staying connected with you for many years to come. I heard those awful words at the end of August, you have breast cancer. At the time, I didn't know how severe or what stage I was in. I was so scared. I later found out after testing, I was stage 1A. In November, I went and had a double mastectomy with reconstruction, and it all came out absolutely fabulous. It was December when I found out I needed to have chemotherapy. My age of 37 played a big part in the decision of having chemotherapy. I was so upset, not of the fact of needing chemotherapy because I knew that was going to help me beat this. However, it was the thought of losing my hair. But when I got introduced to Two Life, it was the best thing that I could have ever hoped for. The staff there was absolutely amazing and made me feel so important and did every measure possible to make me feel like me again. I made an appointment with a hairdresser and my mom and I went. I tried on so many different lengths, styles, and colors of wigs and had so much fun trying them all on. It didn't take me long though to find the right one for me. Going into Two Life, it made me feel very secure in the fact that I wasn't going to be judged by anybody else because they knew why I was there 
and they knew how to help me get through the fact of losing my hair and my self-image. They took the time to make the right wig perfect and absolutely fabulous for me. Needless to say, I felt like me again. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Bedford O'Donnell and I was diagnosed with invasive lobular breast cancer in June 2019. Breast cancer is apparently a family thing as my mother, Janet Carol Bedford, Hi mom, um, was diagnosed with stage three metastatic breast cancer in 1993. She discovered Two Life shortly after its founding and became a loyal supporter and mentor until she passed away in 2008. So when I was diagnosed with LCIS, I knew exactly where to turn because I saw the profound impact that Two Life had already had on my mom. It has had that same impact on me and I'm proud to be a second generation Two Lifer. I especially appreciated the outlet of the Thursday support group uh, to help navigate the looming decisions I had to make. Melanie was my lifeline, especially during that initial shock phase, and the camaraderie and encouragement of so many other women at support group was so very much needed and helpful, uh, sharing stories, exploring treatment options, and learning from others' experiences. And following in my mom's footsteps, I'm happy to stay involved in Two Life as a mentor and support group participant today. Though I wish I didn't have breast cancer in common with my mom, I'm certainly grateful to have Two Life in common. It's kind of like having my mom guiding me as the angel that she is. So thank you to everyone who makes Two Life possible. The value of this wonderful organization is priceless to so many. Hi, my name is Lisa Gabriel, and I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in 2018. I had heard about Two Life and decided to attend one of the cooking programs. I wasn't sure about the support group, and since I have a very supportive family and friends group, at first I was very tentative. At the program, I met two life support group facilitator and longtime survivors who gave me the hope I needed at a difficult time. I decided to give the support group a try, and it's made all the difference. I've met some incredible women, supportive women, learned so much from them, and I've been able to provide information and support to others. Believe it or not, we also laugh a lot. We get our emotional tanks refilled so we can do what we need to do, manage the shock of breast, breast cancer diagnosis, the challenges of treatment, and the healing and the living our lives. So much of the cancer experience is about the science and medical procedures. To life brings the humanity, the community, and support that every, also every woman needs. It's the safe space where we can unapologetically and open express exactly what we feel and receive unconditional understanding and support. Anyone who knows me knows that being on the cam um, camera is definitely outside my comfort zone, but I'm doing this because I feel that the, that the work at Two Life and all of its programs and services are essential to the breast cancer community, from the newly diagnosed to the long-term survivors. Thank you. With a Toast to Life silent auction, and as you heard Shirley Anderson say not long ago, this is a really special part of this event, and the committee works for months to curate a special group of items for this auction. And it goes until eight o'clock, so bid early, bid often, and you'll have until eight o'clock to check in on the progress of your bids. And now it's time to shine a spotlight on our honorees. The Extra Mile Award goes to a healthcare professional who has had a special impact on breast cancer patients. Good evening, wonderful people. I am Dr. Arsula de Jesus, and I am a radiation oncologist from New York Oncology Hematology. First of all, I just wanted to say to Dr. Savage that I certainly didn't receive the memo that it was dressed down today. So yes, I'm gonna go and I do have real clothes on, not shorts, and I have real shoes on, which would be uh, quite the surprise uh, knowing it's the uh, pandemic. But I have the distinct honor and pleasure of introducing this year's recipient of the Extra Mile Award from Two Life. And this person happens to be someone I know very well and who I consider a very good friend um, and esteemed colleague, Dr. Karen Tedesco. I'll start off with uh, you know, reading the, the, the typical resume type introduction, um, but will definitely give you a few snippets of what I do know about her that makes her truly special. 
Um, Karen and I work together at the New York Oncology Hematology Office in Amsterdam, but Karen also works out of our Albany Cancer Center on Patroon Creek Boulevard. Dr. Tedesco is board certified in internal medicine, hematology, and medical oncology. Karen has been with NYOH for over 15 years. She currently serves as vice president of the NYOH Board of Directors and also serves as director of NYOH's Hereditary Cancer Risk Assessment Program. She is what I would call our genetics genius. She also serves as a member on the U.S. Oncology Breast Cancer Research Committee and the U.S. Oncology Genetic Risk Evaluation and Testing Steering Committee. Dr. Tedesco is nationally published and takes a female leadership role at NYOH, mentoring new providers. She also plays an active role in local cancer education events. And certainly, um, we are pleased that she is receiving this award tonight. Uh, more importantly, um, having worked with Karen side by side for the past uh, 12 plus years of my career with NYOH, um, several things that I do know about, about her, outside from her being uh, such a genius, uh, knows a lot about everything. Um, she, she is so hardworking, conscientious, um, and really does go the extra mile for patients. She certainly prepares for the appointments. She doesn't show up and think that things are gonna fall on her lap. Uh, she, she looks for reports several days before. She makes sure that when she enters that room, the patients will get their money's worth, so to speak, and will get the care that they so deserve. And, you know, God forbid, if I were to ever have to need anyone's services, Karen would be my first pick. Not because, uh, not only because she is a good doctor, but she is also a good person. And, and I have had the distinct pleasure of knowing her personally. Um, and um, I think a lot of us uh, watching tonight also know Karen as uh, socially as a very good friend. Uh, she has passionately supported breast cancer and particularly through the past two decades supported to life and all the other uh, cancer um, nonprofit organizations in the capital district and around uh, our country. Um, so we are thrilled that she is receiving this recognition tonight because she does truly go the extra mile, not only for her patients, but for breast cancer and, um, and for NYOH and for um, serving cancer patients uh, throughout. Dr. Tedesco is married to a gastroenterologist and she has three wonderful children. She is an amazing mom. She is a great at multitasking. I think a lot of women are, but she takes the trophy for that. She is a former competitive gymnast. She enjoys uh, fitness. She enjoys running. She probably miles, runs 10 miles a day, um, traveling and spending time with her family and friends. So it is my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce tonight's recipient of the Two Life Award, Dr. Karen Tedesco. Good evening. This is my first virtual gala and award ceremony and probably a first for many of you as well. I'd like to thank Two Life for all of their efforts in supporting the breast cancer community through all phases of breast cancer diagnosis and treatment, particularly now during the COVID pandemic, having a breast cancer diagnosis can be even more difficult. Thank you for recognizing me for the Extra Mile Award and collaborating with me to promote programs to support our breast cancer community. I'd like to extend my congratulations to Catherine Black on her Angel Award and thank her for her contributions to Two Life. I'd like to thank my family for their support and encouragement. And I'd like to thank all of the healthcare providers who are, who are involved in the care of breast cancer patients, both those within NYOH and in other practices with which we collaborate. Within NYOH, there are a few people I'd like to especially thank, including Dr. DeJesus, she and I work very closely together in our Amsterdam office to take care of patients. Sabrina Masso, who leads NYOH with great insight and positivity. 
Amy Zukolkowski, who directs our research program with tremendous enthusiasm and creativity. She has been expanding the outreach of the NYOH research program. Ashley Benincasa, who has worked with me in developing our genetics program. And Sarah Bolofsky, who's our marketing and communications director, who helps with a variety of functions in which NYOH is involved with the community. She's here today helping me do this video, standing six feet away with her mask on. Given the format of today's presentation and the situation with the COVID pandemic, the organizers and I wanted to take the opportunity to have an educational component to this program. So I'm just going to offer a few words about wellness and self-care. It's important, especially right now, to take good care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally. Physically, it's a great time to get outside. The weather's improving and we're all probably sick of being cooped up in our houses, doing various chores and projects around the house. So it's a good time to get outside and start exercising outside. You can do things like walking, jogging, riding a bike, depending on what you're up for. If you're accustomed to exercising inside, if you used to go to the gym or haven't really been exercising lately, it's a good time to start up doing other activities. There are a variety of videos available on YouTube or other formats. So you can do almost any type of activity, yoga, aerobics, Pilates, weight training, um, various other activities. So definitely a good time to try something new and start improving your fitness. It's also a great time to work on eating habits. So we may have more time to prepare food right now, so it can be a good time to experiment with new recipes or new ingredients and try to clean up our eating habits. There's been more and more data accumulating in the breast cancer literature, supporting the benefits of exercise, maintaining a low-fat diet, keeping weight in a healthy range, and avoiding alcohol intake in terms of helping decrease risk of problems related to breast cancer. We also want to keep ourselves mentally healthy, so it's important to keep your brain active. With some more free time, it might be a good time to start a book you've always wanted to read, do puzzles of different types, and try to learn about something new that interests you. I've been doing a lot of virtual museum tours, learning more about history and art, so that's been something exciting that I normally don't have time to do. It's also an important time to manage stress and keep connected with other people. So social distancing has made that a bit difficult and many people probably feel isolated at times. So it's important to connect with others, be that on various uh, media platforms or even through an old fashioned phone call. If you're living with other people, do things together, have meals together, watch a movie, play games, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. It's also important to manage stress so make sure you're doing some activities that you find relaxing. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. You can meditate to help you relax and um, can also think about things that you're grateful for in your life, things that are going well for you. So thank you all for attending tonight. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I look forward to seeing all of you soon, hopefully in person. Congratulations to Dr. Tedisco and thank you so much for all that you do. And now moving on to our second award of the night. The You're an Angel Award goes to someone who has touched the lives of a breast cancer patient or survivor in a very special way. Here to introduce our next honoree is Mary Ginsburg. Hello again. Tonight we're honoring some quiet, some modest heroes, some dear friends and tireless volunteers. Through the many years of my friendship with Katie Black, I have been witness and appreciative of her willingness to step up as interim executive director while we search for our terrific Eileen Halbert. I've watched her as she's helped us grow to life by serving as a chair and a co-chair of this very event, although we used to call it the gala. She's revived and revised our library at Two Life. She's done so many different things.
to help our organization grow over the decades. And we want to thank her for all of her efforts and all of her passion. She served on our board of directors for well over a decade, and it's been my privilege to call Katie Walsh Black, a dear friend and a dear supporter of Two Life. When we were discussing awardees for this year, it was obvious that a community awardee this year had to be Katie Black. It was obvious to us, and it's marvelous to be able to recognize our dear friend, Katie Walsh Black. So from the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the Board of Directors, thank you, Katie, for everything you have done and everything you continue to do for our organization. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I want to thank you most sincerely for honoring me with this very meaningful award. As I pondered what to say and how to say it, I have felt really conflicted and undeserving because in these times, it seems as if there are so many worthier people who are just doing what they can with no expectation of gratitude or any kind of a reward. Yet it is, I suppose, important to acknowledge the past. And for that, I accept this award in honor of all those who have brought to life to the organization it is today. This past, of course, includes Mara, first and foremost, Eileen, Two Life staff, members of the board, and the many, many volunteers. No acceptance of an award is complete without acknowledgement of what family and friends contribute to the effort. In my case, my husband John, my family, my friends have all been so supportive through the years. If I started naming all the individual names as I would like to, I'd run out of video. But I thank you all collectively. Please know that I love and appreciate you all so much. I want to turn to the survivors and their families for just a moment, since you are what True Life is all about. I know you are facing the double hardship of the COVID-19 pandemic and your individual levels of dealing with stages of breast cancer. I am comforted knowing that you are able to reach out to True Life if you need to, as you make your way through a journey that is difficult for all of us at the moment, but must at times seem impossible to you. I wish you courage and offer you my loving thoughts. I am so glad that I am a minuscule part of the history of Two Life, and I thank you for this opportunity to express my gratitude for all that I have gained from my association with Two Life, culminating in my receipt of this lovely award. And I thank you with my love and gratitude. What a night we've had. You've heard from everyone and uh, so many people, as you can see, are enthusiastic and, uh, and supportive and uh, profoundly affected within the Two Life community. And I just want to say again, thank you. And you've heard that a number of times. But I, I just, it really is, is just uh, a joy and it has uh, been a blessing in my life to be part of this organization and I'll continue to be wowed by everyone. And so, uh, as you know, this is a fundraiser going into this event. We had raised over $30,000 between our ticket sales and our sponsors. And I know that the silent auction has continued and that's gonna wrap up at eight o'clock. If you'd like to make an additional donation, we'd certainly welcome uh, we would welcome that contribution as we are doing everything we can to continue to keep the doors open here at Two Life and to continuing offering the services that you heard so much about tonight. And uh, when we continue to do that, you're going to hear more in the next few weeks as we launch uh, some changes to our educational programming. And so with that, we're gonna wrap up tonight. And I think Camille's got a few other words she's gonna share with us this evening. And I'm gonna say good night. Thank you for joining us and being part of this just outstanding effort. And um, have a nice evening. Thank you.
All right, well, thank you so much for being here with us tonight. Thank you to Mara for having me back uh, for a third year in a row to, to help host this wonderful event. Thank you for being with us for our first virtual rendition of A Toast to Life and sticking with us as we navigated some of those bumps. Thank you to Eileen and Shirley for always being so welcoming. And thank you to all of you for watching and uh, participating in this virtual event. And thank you so much to everyone behind the scenes. I'd like to have We're gonna Eileen come and Shirley lunch. come in. Just for a and moment. Just thank you. Thank Good you. night. Have a wonderful evening. We love you.